Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Nevada, and particularly one of the fabled water-having portions of Nevada. Uh, I believe this is Lake Tahoe that we're looking at right here. And we've got a $64.5 million eight-bedroom home. Uh, this is, it's a big, big price tag. We've gotten close to California, and that, that sticker went right up. Uh, right off the bat, though, I can tell you it doesn't, I don't see any grass. We're already doing better than the California house there. This is all natural landscape right there. Uh, they might have gone a little too heavy into the natural landscape because I look at this and I think, do you have to rock climb to get there? Uh, it's This looks like maybe a, a water slide that you take from one building to the next. It's it, uh, Questions abound. Let's see what we can find out. All right, here is our entryway, and this is, holy shit, I, I feel like this is something out of a, a futuristic movie where you, you step into the, the chamber of the Grand Council and they're about to decide your fate or something. I'm not sure what we did. Uh, we've got a strange statue with a, a crystal. I don't keep up on my crystals. I'm not sure what that one does. I assume it balances a chakra or something. Uh, the wood on the ceiling and, and these columns is gorgeous. We've got, uh, looks like we got marble floors here. Uh, obviously, a spectacular view of the mountains through this window. Um, yeah, this, this is money well spent here, I gotta say. This is, this is pretty freaking cool. Oh, all right. This is, this is a fun little twist. We've got people in our uh in our zillow listing photos we also have what appears to be uh, a six flags ride a roller coaster of some sort but it's it's this little charlie and the glass elevator uh sort of deal that i assume is going with the thing that we saw that was going between those houses can you imagine having to get in this weird fucking little box every time you wanted to go between buildings on your own property? Like, it looks like there's stairs here, but that's a fuck ton of very steep looking stairs. I, I don't know what I would prefer. This is unnerving and it's probably slow, but oh man. I'm questioning why it's clear like obviously the view is good, so the so the windows are 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 a plus for that. Uh, obviously it's a very small box, so you'd be claustrophobic, uh, being in there. But also I I feel like it would be unnerving, to to be in the little fishbowl bubble. Oh God, we're gonna continue to have people. These are all like magazine people. Do you think they hired actors? and mo like models to come pose in their fucking Zillow pictures. That's, do you think they're actually here? The, she looks photoshopped. She looks super fucking photoshopped. Did they photoshop weird humans into, oh. <sighs> all right, let's, let's try to see past these weird fucking people and actually look at the space here. We've got a fire pit. This is an indoor outdoor space. We've got a bar. Uh, cool little wood detail there. Uh, cool details on the wood up here. Uh, that's an interesting light fixture over there. I can't get over the people. Uh, whose kids are these? Is, is, is the point of this to make you, like, imagine how many friends you're going to have? Like, like, what good bougie model friends you're gonna make as soon as you buy this house what is happening okay oh we're outside all right um i see a yacht i don't imagine you can get to your yacht from this house because you know unlike god i forget i forget what state it was we were looking at where they had like the three thousand mile uh peer down from the cliffside. They've chosen not to do that, which I respect. Um, so I assume you have to, to moor your yacht off on a dock somewhere. Wow. All right. 
I mean, you really do just need to pray that there's never an earthquake, because this whole house is coming down, if that's the case. Uh, the the chimneys everywhere, and and the the uniform little ziggy zaggy of the roof. Um, it's it's a very level. Like all the roof is one level. I don't know. It's it's better than a chaotic roof for sure. And yet, there's something about it that's a little unnerving. Uh, I feel like I would be nervous on this balcony all the time. I'm not. I'm not like scared of heights in particular, but living with this balcony over this giant fucking cliffside. You know, they say something like ninety percent of all accidents happen in the home. That's a big fucking accident that could happen in your home. You know, the the chances of of falling over this railing on a single incident are, are pretty small, but you repeat that every single day your entire life, and, and those chances start adding up, buddy. It looks like we got a little hot tub down here. That's kind of a fun, just built into the rocks. I don't know how you get to it. I imagine, I imagine rock climbing, you just have to get really comfortable with rock climbing. I don't e This doesn't even seem to match. Oh, this must be... The second, the lower house. This is the, the second lower house down here, which is gorgeous. Holy shit. You got a, a double decker. I don't even see anything holding up this deck here. Like, I don't see support poles here. That's, that makes me nervous. How structurally sound is that? Is that going to survive the earthquake? You know, this is, this is Lake Tahoe. We're pretty close to California. I assume that means we're close to the San Andreas. These trees are going, that tree is going like through a balcony. These trees could fall over any time. That's the same thing we looked at before. And we're back in, oh, we've got a billiards table. If your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, are you really rich? I don't think so. All right, we've got one of those. We've ticked off that box. We've got a dining area and a bar. We got That's a weird bar because it's like, Ro those are rolling chairs? Those aren't just dining chairs. Those are rolling chairs around the bar. You know what? I do support... All right. As a, as a short person, I feel like I can appreciate the bar where you don't have to, like, clamber up into a bar stool. However, I understand that the reason bars are that high is because the bartender standing back here is standing you know so i don't know how convenient this is for them but maybe maybe we're at a, a fuck the help stage who knows got uh staring contest chairs over here by the fire very close to the fire that's a toasty seat and then i don't know what the shit this is is that the lobotomy chair is that where you sit for your lobotomy so that people having dinner can watch it happen uh it looks like something that belongs in a salon I don't know why that's there. Oh God, it's the magazine people playing pool. Oh, I can't tell if they're actually in this picture or if they're just Photoshopped. She, no, they, they look so Photoshopped. Hold on, we're gonna see if we can zoom on this bitch. All right, we have zoomed in. They're Photoshopped. Look at that little line around his head. That is Photoshopped as fuck. What a weird fucking choice to make. Why? It was so unnecessary. Like, like, I can't use my imagination that exists in my brain and imagine what people are going to do around, you know, the pool table. I know. I know what it looks like. I don't need your help imagining it. All right, she might actually be there or else they chose to Photoshop a blurry person into this, which would be just so strange. Um, maybe they only got like a couple of models and they photoshopped the rest of them in. That would be even, that would be an even weirder choice. Oh my god. Wait, are, are these two in other pictures? Hold on, let me, let me figure this out. He's there. I don't know which one she is because she's blurry. Alright, the, the blonde. Hold on. No, that's not her because she's holding on to the photoshopped guy. They they might just have... 
I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated. Um, all the candles around here. Um, I do. You know what? This is a, a weird, kooky little cove for, for a hot tub. I do. It does make me feel better now that I can see the glass on the railing more clearly that this is kind of a solid. I still think it's a little low. I think that's I think they could have just made that a little bit higher, you know. All right, this is that indoor outdoor space that they photoshopped all those people into before cuz I recognize this bit on the floor here. This bar. I mean, the glass work on there, that is incredible. You've got some really cool wood details. Um that looks like maybe a chihuly glass piece or uh, some sort of chihuly-esque glass piece. Uh, we got a round table so you can assemble your knights. I'm not sure what, th is this like, that might be a kitchen area off there. It all does look vaguely medieval in a, in a way that's pretty weird for this location and this style of house. I mean, I think what they're going for is lodge. But what I, for some reason, yeah, maybe it was those crests on that bar. Uh, I'm, the the vibe I'm getting is more medieval. The, po the pine cones help bring us back to the lodge, for sure. We've got our fireplace and TV nice and separate. Thank you very much. We've got symmetrical furniture. Um, although it doesn't actually look, no, no, these, well, I think, I think it's symmetrical this way. These two are the same and these two are the same. Holy shit, what do you think the candle budget is in this house? I think these are the, you know, I think I think we're in the, the 50s now for number of candles that we've seen. I, I bet they have like a a frequent flyer pass with the, the Yankee Candle Company. I, I think they're their top customers. Oh no, more Photoshop people. This isn't even adding anything to my knowledge of the house, except that there are photoshopped people haunting it oh this is a little groovy what is going on here this is a fountain and a fire pit is the fire coming out of the water uh, or is the water coming out around the fire and then where are the leds are the le the i see there are leds under this lip but i believe there are some in here as well this is just that's very intense uh, and unnecessary i don't like i feel like if i went to someone's house and i saw this i'd be like holy shit that's really cool and then like two hours in i'd be looking at it and be like i'm done with this that was a lot and it was exciting and now i'm done got another sitting area over here with more candles oh we got four oh then there's candles in there okay we got umbrellas to cover up our pasty whiteness oh this is a nice little cottagey kind of feel here I'm, I'm assuming this is maybe the entrance from the top i was curious how you got to this place from the road um this might be it that's that's cute that's cozy what is this i think this etching this glass etching is supposed to be like a pine tree with pine cones but the perspective is very strange in these little protrusions it looks like like legs or like chicken legs or something like that it's pine cone was not my first thought it was it was just the conclusion i reached knowing that i had seen pine cones in this house before so as a first impression i don't know that that's the conclusion i would reach right away oh more photoshop people we've actually blurred everything around the photoshop people Maybe they're real. Oh, that that might be that one dude that was real. And this might be the blonde lady. This might be the actual. Can you imagine how vain you have to be to be like, I know what would really sell our house is if people saw us in it. Because like the whole point, like when you're when you're posting pictures of your house, you're supposed to the reason they have you paint the walls white and, and make everything look neutral is so that people can picture themselves in it. And, and these people have gone the extra mile. Not only have they not taken out any of their personal taste, they have actually included themselves in the photos as if they are a selling point for this house. 
I also love that we we have no sense of where we are on the property here. Like we assume this is on the property, but they've blurred things and it's a very innocuous like we know that there's this little fire pit in the the stones somewhere but they're not actually giving us any information about the property they are just showing us like their weird instagram picture oh here's some more natural splendor i do love a good brook it looks like this is close to the house i can see the house up there and again why are you showing us pictures of your kids all right for anyone who has kids, I'm just going to break it to you. No one wants to see pictures of your kids. I'm sorry. We act like we do. We say, oh, they're so cute. Oh, look at him. We don't want to see pictures of your kids. We don't. And and especially if you are a stranger, if I don't know you that well, like if I have a personal connection with the child, sure. If I've met them before, sure, I'll look at a picture of the kid. If you are a stranger to me and I've never met this child, I don't want to see a picture of them. What? This is literally like, okay, we've got statues of like bobcats or something here that this creepy blue eyed child is pointing at. Why? Why? This is clearly just a picture of them do they come with the house are we selling children is this the the cabal of of child trafficking that that we've been warned about i don't think so oh god all right here's this is how you show pictures of these weird statues which are you know what interesting but weird um and we can see that they're by the house we're getting geographic information we can see there's a path all right we don't need to see pictures of your fucking kids. All right, we're in a bedroom that is nothing but window. Uh, we got a fireplace so that all the heat from the fireplace can go right out the window. Uh, and a gigantic ceiling so that we know that this fireplace is powerless to actually heat anything. Uh, we've got an easel. Uh, presumably someone's been doing some artwork here. Uh, we've got stadium seating to watch the bed and a tapestry over it. This is, they're not killing those medieval vibes. They clearly think that they're royalty. We've got a giant ass jacuzzi tub. We got some more etching on the glass here. Uh, this looks like there's level ground out there and there's no window treatments other than this etching on here. You better hope no one's walking past. I think that's a monogrammed towel. These have got to be the most self-absorbed people on the planet. And we're in a library and we've got a library ladder so that you know that we're serious, except this chair is actually in the way of the ladder. So we know that you don't actually use it. This is a very intense fireplace with some sort of crest over it. Uh, that looks vaguely federal. Um, I don't know what that's about. Does this say, is that Luke or Lake? Hold on. We're investigating. Lake. It just says Lake. And there's a mini model of someone's yacht back here. These people need to be eaten. Um, <laughs> we know what they look like. Oh my god. All right, we're in a formal dining room with a big ass chandelier. Um I I thought those were like little cups at first, but I realized no, they're more candles and there's more candles here. We'll never escape the candles. This is the candle outlet store. Uh we've got some I believe that is appropriation artwork over there. Uh great Great, we love to see that. We've got uh, shelves for displaying plates, I guess. And this very elaborate buffet table. Okay, here's the kitchen and we have a hidden refrigerator. We've got like some elaborate woodwork here to hide the refrigerator because you can't let them know you eat. You can't let them know you eat or else they are gonna throw you off this cliff and reclaim what you've stolen. Oh man. All right, we've got stacked ovens in the stovetop over here. Looks like we've got a breakfast nook overlooking the water over there. The woodwork is very nice. Um, lots of natural light. 
Oh, and we've got a personal movie theater. Oh, of course, we couldn't get away with not having that. We have to check all of our boxes. They've got it queued to La La Land because they're still mad that La La Land didn't win the Oscar. Um, they're, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it. It's a race thing. It was definitely a race thing that they, they thought that La La Land deserved it. Uh, we've got all sorts of kitschy little film reel tables here. I guess that's a fun detail if you're really leaning into the the kitsch of the movie, which clearly you are because you've got the, the movie reel stage up here. I mean, at least it's dark. That's all I'm giving it. Oh, and of course we've got children to show us how much the children will love the movie theater. Look at that. That's all of them watching La La Land. That's what they look like. When they... <laughs> that's that's what they look like when they watch La La Land. Yeah, fucking La La Land. I love this movie. <laughs> all right. We've got a sink that is a hunk of rock. Uh, and with the, what, the birch walls? Really? That's an intense choice to make. Uh, I don't know that I would make that choice, but uh, someone sure, someone sure made it. Oh, look, more pine cones. Okay, that headboard is spectacular. Like, so intense, but holy shit, that is a beautiful piece of wood right there. Uh, we've got more pine cones up here. I should be keeping track of how many pine cones there are. Um... A future me who's editing this video. Can, can we get a count on how many pine cones we've seen so far? You're welcome. I feel like, I mean, it's a beautiful view out these windows, absolutely. But I, I also feel like you can't see the land because you're like hanging out over it here. It would be a little disconcerting for me to wake up in the morning and look out and it's just like water there. I would feel like... In, in the Lindsay Lohan Parent Trap movie, when they float float the mattress out onto the lake while while the stepmom is sleeping and she she wakes up and she's like floating in the middle of the lake. that I feel like I, I would imagine that I was waking up that way. Here's another bedroom. We've got a little reading nook, bookshelf, fireplace. I feel like this one is pretty nice. You've got some interesting ceiling details. You've got some nice artwork. The walls are a nice warm color. Uh, I would absolutely stub my toes on these birds here. But other than that, yeah, all right, that room seems fine. Yet another room. This one's very similar to the last one. We've even got the little statue by the fire. It's just a different statue. Uh, this one has a nice little rocking chair. I love to rock. Um, oh, the fish over the fireplace is a little, uh, little butch for me, honestly. Especially in com- <laughs> the, the fish versus the floral bedspread. That's the, the two genders. <laughs> uh, the, the gender binary at work. We've got a weird artsy close-up on some whiskey glasses. And I, I love how it's blurry. This is- this is like how they show with the camera that you the the character has just been poisoned or roofied or something and everything starts to go like blurry and clear and fish-eyed and, and then they collapse. This is the last thing you see after they've roofied you before these people stuff you in the freezer to eat you later. Now we're back in this entrance hall. I think we're looking at it from the other direction, so that's the front door there. Uh, we've got some, you know, unnecessary steps here just to make the house nice and inaccessible. I think this might be a piano over here. Man, that is a long roller coaster ride between these two houses. Jesus Christ. How long do you think it takes? Like, how fast does that thing go? Is that like... I, I imagine this is like a, a guest house or something. Um... Is this like a, a 10 minute commute? Is that how much you don't want to spend time with your guests that you, you know, like, I need to put them 10 minutes down the mountain. There's the glass bubble. 
There's Charlie's Great Glass Elevator. What do you think the docking station for that is like? I hope they show us that. Oh, it looks like it's pretty close to where you come out for the hot tub, too. This property is real. This house is really massive. It doesn't, you can't really tell from many angles, but it's it's just this really long interconnected series of chains. It's, it's getting from this end of the house to that one has got to take forever. And that's all they're showing us. All right, this is Nevada. Um... I, I feel like this is not even emblematic of Nevada culture so much as it is like Lake Tahoe culture, um, which is just the the bougiest of the bouge. And God, the, the, the people in the pictures and the narcissism of making us look at pictures of your kids. This whole thing just reeks of self-importance and you know, congratulations at their own opulence. And this is the the modern one percenter, the, the modern one percenter who's on Instagram and, and who wants to be a Kardashian. These are not the secret underground Blackwater uh, old money one percenters. These, these are the new bitches and they are obnoxious. Oh boy. Maybe on our next pass through the States, we'll, we'll get something more in, in the Las Vegas area uh, and, and get some more uh, iconic Nevada culture. Uh, but for now, if you noticed anything that I missed or you have anything to say about this house, feel free to leave it in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.